Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Gon. In today's video, we will do writing linear equations ax plus by is equal to c in the form y is equal to mx plus b and vice versa. In other words, ang gagawin natin is we will convert or rewrite an equation from standard form to slope intercept form and then later on, we will reverse the process at yung naka-slope intercept form ay convert natin into standard form. At yung pattern natin, remember that in this form, yung ating standard form, ax plus by is equal to c. As you can see, look at the pattern ha. Yung x and the y terms natin ay nasa left side of the equation while the constant is on the other side of the equation. Parang, tatanda nyo lang dito, isolated yung constant natin sa gantong form. And then look at your slope-intercept form y is equal to mx plus b wherein dapat naka-isolate yung inyong y variable. So, I hope na maintindihan nyo yung lesson natin ngayon kung paano mag-write ng my equations into standard form and slope-intercept form. Without further ado, let's do this topic. So, you have here a direction. Sabi dito sa ating direction. Write the linear equation ax plus b y is equal to c in the form y is equal to mx plus b. So, yung first set natin ng discussion is that we are given a linear equation at ang target natin is to follow this form, y is equal to mx plus b. Ang kailangan nyo natandaan, dapat yung y lang ang natitira sa isang side ng isang equation na meron tayo. So let's start with number 1. We are given the equation 5x plus 2y is equal to 4. As you can see, um, yung target natin yung y na ma-isolate ay nandito. At may kasama siyang 5x and 2. Therefore, simple lang naman yun eh ang kailangan mo lang gawin is to eliminate 5x and 2 para matitira na lang si y. So, ang tanong dito, anong unahin natin ma-eliminate? Is it the 5x or 2? Uh, basically, ang kailangan mo matanggal muna dyan ay yung 5x. So, try natin ha. Okay? So, paano may mas madaling way? Yung iba, they are doing or they are using the addition property of equality but in our case, we will do transposition. Again, transposition. So, itong 5x natin, from the left side of the equation, we will transpose it to the right side of the equation. So, that is 5x. So, pag transpose natin siya, our new equation is 2y, kasi mawawala si 5x, matitira sa 2y, is equal to negative 5x plus 4. So, paano naging negative 5x? Remember, when we transpose a term, in any equation, magbabago ang sign niya. From positive, it became negative. So, we're not yet done. Kasi ang target natin kanina is to remove 5x and 2. So, next step natin is to eliminate 2. How? So, ang gagawin lang dito, guys, is to divide both sides of the equation by 2. Kasi, kapag nag-divide ka ng 2, you can eliminate yung 2 natin sa y. So, right now, our new equation is y is equal to negative 5x plus 4 over 2. Pero yung iba naman, ginagawa nilang 2 terms yung itong part na to. Because as you can see, meron tayong 4. And pwede natin simplify yan. Pwede natin rewrite yung answer natin as y is equal to negative 5x over 2 plus 2. So, saan nang galing yung 2? Yung 2 natin, uh, siya yung galing from 4 over 2. Because 4 divided by 2 is 2. So, these are the possible answers. Okay? So, I hope na sa first example natin, you already know how to convert an equation into y is equal to mx plus b or yung tinatawag natin slope-intercept 4. Let's move on with the next example. We have x plus 3y is equal to 7. Again, here's the pattern. Ang target mo is to isolate y. Remember? Meaning, you need to eliminate x and 3. So, unang mga gagawin is to transpose x to the other side of the equation. You have this one. Ang matitara sa left side is that you have your 3x, sorry, 3y is equal to negative x because from positive, it became negative kasi na-transpose ka. Then, copy mo yung 7 plus 7. And then, you, meron ka na namang coefficient ni y. So, kung anong katabi ni y, yun yung pang divide mo. Divide by... 3. So, cancel natin to. Meron ka na ngayong y is equal to 
negative x plus 7 over 3. Or we can express our answer as y is equal to negative x over 3 plus 7 over 3. Ito yung mga passable answers natin. For example, number 2. Okay. So, I have your third example. Pero pwede nyo siyang gawin sa sarili nyo. Post nyo muna yung video. Tapos may, la may lalabas na ads. Joke lang. Okay. Post nyo muna yung video. Tapos you can answer or you can write this into y is equal to mx plus b. Okay. Post muna natin. Okay. Sagutan na natin. So, Ang target natin is to eliminate, is to separate y or isolate y. So, we need to eliminate 14x and 7. Transpose muna si 14x. Then, ang new equation mo ay 7y is equal to negative 14x plus 33. Then, after that, wala na si 14x divided by 7. Okay. Buong equation dapat yan. Eliminate yung 7. Then you can have your equation as y is equal to negative 7, negative 14x plus 33 all over 7. Or, pwede natin siya express as y is equal to yung negative 14 divided by 7. That will give you negative 2. So, negative 2x plus 33 over 7. These are the possible answers for item number 3. That's it. How to convert equations in standard form to slope intercept form. Now, for the second part of our tutorial, we are given the direction, write the linear equation y is equal to mx plus b in the form ax plus b y is equal to c. So we are directed here that we, need, we are given an equation in slope intercept form and then we will convert it or rewrite it into standard form which is yung ating ax plus by is equal to c so familiarize muna natin yung ating pattern we have here the x variable and the term with the y variable on the left side of the equation while the constant is isolated from those variables so target ng natin guys is to transpose 4x to the other side of the equation para may, may hiwalay siya sa ating constant which is yung negative 5 so basically all you need to do is transpose this one so from positive 4x it will become negative 4x then plus y is equal to negative 5 as you can see na follow na natin yung pattern because this is your x term and this is your y term but Always remember, in writing equations in standard form, always lagi yung, or lagi yung titignan ay yung inyong first term. If it is positive or negative. Kapag negative siya, you need to transpor, transform that term into positive. So para maging positive yung ating first term, we need to multiply the whole equation by negative 1. So kapag nag-multiply ka ng negative 1 sa buong equation, lahat ng sign ng inyong terms ay magbabago. So, it will become 4x minus y is equal to 5. This is the standard form of the first equation. Okay? So, let's move on with item number 5. We are given y is equal to negative x plus 4. So, dito, isang move lang yata ito. Eh. Tinan mo, eh. From negative x, it transpose natin. It will become positive x plus y is equal to Four. This is the standard form of y is equal to negative x plus b. A plus 4. Okay? Let's move on with the next example. So we have here y is equal to 3 over 4x plus 2. So, here na naman. You can see a fraction and iisipin nyo agad, ay sir, napakahirap nyan. So, no. So, there are two possible ways na pwede nyo gawin. Papakita ko sa inyo kung ano mga possible ways na yun eh. Una, transpose muna natin ito. So you have y is equal to, copyin muna natin na, 3 over 4, x plus 2. First method natin, transpose natin ito sa kabilang side ng equation. 
it will become positive, right? I meant negative, so it will become negative 3 over 4 x plus y is equal to 2. And then, kung kapansin nyo, meron tayong negative 4. Meron tayong 4 sa denominator at yung ating first term is negative. So instead of multiplying it by negative 1, gawin mo, i-multiply mo na yung buong equation by negative 4. Ito, negative 4. Bakit? Kapag multiply mo ito, magiging positive siya. At the same time, maka-cancel mo yung 4. So, nakita niya ba yan? So, it will become 3x. Yung second term mo naman, negative 4 times y, it will become minus 4y. And this one, negative 4 times 2, that is equal to negative 8. This is the standard form. Now, for, <coughs> excuse me, the second method, copy natin yung given, y is equal to 3 over 4, x plus 2. Yung iba naman, ang una lang ginagawa is to eliminate the denominator 4 by multiplying the whole equation by 4. So, multiplying na natin, this will become 4y. Ito magiging is equal to 3x na lang. Kasi matanggal si 4. Maka-cancel siya. Kasi ano yan eh, 3 times 4 is 4. 3 times 4 is 12. Divided by 4, that will give you 3. So, 3x na lang meron tayo. And then, 2 times 4, that will give you 8. Transpose mo sa kabila to, from positive 3x, it will become negative 3x plus 4y is equal to 8. And as you can see, this is negative. So, multiply mo with negative 1. Lahat ng sign mo bago. So, your new equation is 3x minus 4y is equal to negative 8. So, as you can see, parehas na silang dalawa. Okay? So, ano, yung, ano ba yung importance? Bakit natin kailangang i-transform yung equation in standard form and slope-intercept form? Ang importance kasi nito, kapag um, naka-standard form siya, madali mo malalaman yung value ng A, B, and C. While, if your equation is in slope-intercept form, you can easily identify the value of slope and the y-intercept na kung saan, kapag alam yung slope and y-intercept, you can graph a linear equation. So, yun yung mga importance na meron sa topic natin aside from knowing this kind of skill. Okay? So, I hope na within our examples, natutun natutunan nyo kung paano i-write ang isang equation or ang isang linear equation in slope-intercept form or in standard form. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page. And I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.